Hey y'all, it's Chindi. What? 15,000 of y'all. It was that long ago that I had reached 10,000. Here we are again. I'm very grateful, I'm very appreciative. 15,000, it feels like it's an accomplishment for me, but actually it's a reflection of all of y'all. 15,000 of y'all was like, yeah, you know what? Okay. <laughs> and you click subscribe, and that's why we are where we are at now. So in this video, I just want to express incredible gratitude for all of you. Um, I made a community post and I asked you all who have channels or who just wanted to be spotlighted in this video to leave a comment so I'm gonna be sprinkling the lovely beautiful wonderful cells that y'all are throughout this video and I also want to talk about how I think I've been able to create and foster a really beautiful engaged supportive loving online community I think many people when they think of YouTube and YouTube comments they don't think of love and support community and you know like all the good beautiful things that y'all have brought into the community that we've created together and I want to share some of the things that I think have helped to foster that community if you have a channel yourself or even if you're just out in the world you know or in any online space and you're trying to figure out how to create a dope community so that's going to be the point of this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe what huh before i hit 10k i was doing this thing where i was like say hashtag in before 10k and if we want you can maybe hit me with the in before 20k because we know it's coming. I did this podcast called Call on Courage and the woman said something with such a casualness and a certainty that it really struck me. She was like, your channel is growing. It's so clear that it's going to keep growing. And I was just like, whoa. <laughs> like, that was a great conversation, by the way. Check out my episode of that podcast if you haven't already. And of course, if you want to support me... <sighs> so nice y'all are so supportive already if you want to keep supporting me because y'all are literally the best you can join me on patreon at patreon.com slash chimsy the main thing i love doing over there is like of course just getting the feedback from the folks who kind of support me on that level and really trying to tailor what i create to what they want but also when i do lives usually i do a live here on youtube and then i do like an after party just for the patrons so that's what you get access to if you're a patron and i do creative coaching and my patrons get a full extra hour of free coaching when they sign up. So let's go ahead and get into this video, shall we? My first chunk of advice is surrounding the comment section. So this is a major way that you get a sense of the community. The number one thing I would suggest is to genuinely appreciate every single comment because we know how many people are out here lurking and are not going to leave you a comment. Even if they love what you do, they still are like, that's not my MO. All right, I just watch. Maybe I give a thumbs up. Maybe I subscribe. I'm not going to leave a comment, you know? So the fact that anyone at all takes the time to fix their fingers and type up a comment means a lot it means a lot to me and I show up in my comment section with this energy of like thank you I appreciate you because I recognize that you didn't have to do this you know for me I will rarely say the same thing twice in a comment I might have the same themes because they're usually around like love and support and you being great and beautiful and doing whatever you want to do and a big thing I like to do and I actually started doing this after I left a comment on Joe Franco's YouTube channel she just responded by being like chindy and like all caps and I heard it from this like very like excited genuine way and it warmed my heart so much so now whenever people leave me comments I try to say their name in the comments so they can hear in their own voice they can hear me saying and calling them by their name as a way of recognizing that when I see 15,000 people each number represents a human being on the other side of the screen like every video we create everything we put out every view is a human being who sat there and is watching what you created and I think remembering when you respond to their comments that you're responding to a person like imagine they were sitting there in front of you like what would you want to say what would you want to convey how would you want them to feel it is really important to me that how I show up in my comment sections represents me being my best version of myself of of course you get comments that are a little bit more critical I don't know sometimes it could just be a matter of tone because it's text you don't quite know the energy they're bringing but it could be just straight up the text itself <laughs> it's like very unkind and so sometimes if it's like very blatant I'll just delete it but other times when I can really sense and feel into what that person is saying with the comments so not what the words are saying but what they are expressing usually especially when it comes to more critical comments they're really criticizing themselves in some way and then projecting that onto me I notice this a lot Lot when it came to the quitting my job stuff I had someone say something like I wish I had parents who could take care of me you know all that kind of stuff around like you can have this kind of life because of your circumstances but the same is impossible for me so being able to really hear what the person is saying which is that like I'm incredibly unhappy when I see this video because it makes me feel as if it's not possible for me and instead responding to that and saying hey actually you can do it too we are all capable of creating lives we want to live of actually following our hearts of listening to our intuition creating lives that are beautiful and 
designer beyond anything you could have imagined, and I see that for you, you know? And I think bringing that energy to every comment, even the ones that are critical, has really helped in fostering a really beautiful community. And then the final thing related to comments is often people in YouTube videos, they just say the generic like, comment, and subscribe, and that's that. Actually giving people something to comment on goes a long way. For me, it might sometimes just be like, hey, y'all, I'm wearing this hot lipstick. What do y'all think of it? What do you think about the new cut? Do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have people who engage in the comments? Are you the kind of person who comments on people's YouTube videos? Or are you the kind of person who's like, nah, I don't care how much I love you. You're not getting a comment from me, <laughs> you know? Like, Or even just like comment below and congratulate me on getting 3,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Like, It can be anything, but give people something to comment on versus just saying comment, because that could be anything, right? The next umbrella in terms of how to create a really beautiful, engaged community is the content itself. So there's a bunch of different ways. I've got like a little list of notes here. There's a bunch of different ways that you can approach incorporating more of your community in your content so folks really understand that to you they are not just people leaving comments to help with your engagement but they're actual people that you really care about. A big one is to actually reference the people and the comments in future videos. So you'll often hear me mention like like I literally did earlier so instead of my comments this that and the third you know and if it's like a positive comment trying to remember them by name. I have someone for instance and I've mentioned her before who like refers to me as her internet daughter. Hey Mrs. B. There's someone <laughs> I love her. She literally is always like yes head whenever she sees my haircut. Just these little relationships and things that you just build with different people when they then watch the video later they can recognize and see like oh like me engaging with her it doesn't go into this internet void she actually sees and remembers and it has an impact in her heart and fills her with love you can even take it even further and actually make a video inspired by comments someone left a comment on a video I made about the mistakes I made in my 20s she's she left this comment being like I have learned my lesson I will never <laughs> have a male friend especially as a married person and especially with married men. And I was like, oh! I kind of went back and forth with her in the actual comment section to like learn more. And then I asked her like, hey, would it be okay if I made a video about this? And she was like, yeah. And so then I actually made an entire video that was just based on this comment because it was just such an interesting perspective and one I hadn't heard and considered before. So I think that's another way of showing your community that yeah, you are inspired by them. It's a relationship and we're co-creating the channel together. It's not my channel and I just talk and it goes out and you watch and you listen, but we are in this together. Similarly, giving shout outs in your videos, as I mentioned, like talking about the people in the comment section, talking about other creators are all really beautiful ways of incorporating people and strengthening that community. I, of course, <laughs> always gotta take it a little one step further. For my 10K video, for instance, I didn't actually tell anyone I was doing this because I wanted it to be a surprise. And I think there are still people to this day who have never watched that video and have no idea that they are like sitting in one of my videos. What I did for that 10K video, very similar to this one, is I just went and I looked in my comment section and I like flagged the names that I had kind of seen again and again and I looked at folks who like had channels of their own and I literally just went to their channel grabbed a couple seconds from one of their videos and I created this montage where I like added their name sharing my appreciation and gratitude for these people and I think because it was a surprise they had no idea what was coming it was like such a like a, oh wow and they like saw their name and face in one of my videos and I think things like that whether it's a surprise or if it's planned like how it is with this video it can be just a really beautiful way of, of letting people know that they are appreciated and it does take a little bit of extra work to do that right like it'd be a lot easier to to just say thanks y'all and keep it pushing but I think doing that little extra bit shows how much you genuinely care and I think people can feel the difference and I think if you really are serious about creating a real engaged community not just because you want to be able to say that you have high engagement so you can get a sponsorship but because you actually recognize that that to me is the power of having a platform is that you can genuinely and how you show up and how you relate make the world that you want to live in Hey y'all, it's Chimdi editing the very video that you were actually watching right now. I'm talking into this dope microphone because I tried this a moment ago and it didn't work. So here's an excuse to mention that I have a podcast. <laughs> called voice notes from your friend. That's not why we're here though. We're here because I want to give an extra special thank you to a few folks. The first one being unique. I'm only making this video because I asked in a YouTube live, hey, should I make a 5K celebration video? And she was like, yes, girl, you got to celebrate. Another extra special shout out to Andrea. She's one of my coaching clients. And with her, I started doing accountability calls where we meet together every morning for an hour and just work on our separate projects. And because of her, I've got a lot of editing done on this video. So thank you, girl. And then finally, I want to give so much love and gratitude to my Patreon people, my supporters on Patreon. I started Patreon at the top of the year. I was scared to do it before and I had no idea that people would actually come through and support. Everyone who shows up like actively is healing my limiting belief around money and finances. So genuinely so, so grateful to you all. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already.
already subscribed and let's get that number even higher. Y'all are just like so incredible, seriously. Okay, back to the video. This is something Thomas Hubel said about like, we always talk about like wanting to live in a better world. The better world isn't just gonna happen and then we live in it. It's the world that we literally create together. Every part of our life supports the creation of that world, including how you engage in a comment section. All of it matters and we feel the difference and we feel the love and that's the power that we have as creators. And then I know this can be tough because we all have our own ways of creating, but when people request videos, actually trying to make them. Now there are some videos that y'all have requested that have just been and like y'all I can't do it. <laughs> so one is like an editing tutorial and I keep trying to figure out how I can make a good editing tutorial and I just get very overwhelmed when I think about it so I just take my own advice around procrastination and overwhelm but there are many videos people are like hey like for instance I made a video just now about how I spent my time after quitting my job because somebody requested that someone else asked me about balancing my money and my values after quitting my job chances are if someone's requesting it obviously there's an audience for it right because they wouldn't ask they didn't want to watch it what I found is that when I actually answer the request people ask of me those tend to be very successful videos because they're showing me hey there is this need that we are not being met with and I would like you to fill that need well, on that note and to incorporate a few things I've talked about if there's something that you're like hey chimney I would really like to hear your thoughts or opinions about X Y or Z I'd love for you to explore this topic or share resources around this certain thing can you do that let me know in the comments and I will genuinely try my best to do it I made a video about toxic positivity because somebody asked me to do that what's so cool is that as a creator there's things that are on my spirit that I want to talk about but there's things that it's only when someone's like hey what about x y or z you're like oh I hadn't even given like I hadn't even taken my energy and my resources and like turned that focus and energy and attention to this topic and because you've asked me to do it I then like learn and expand and grow in ways and like really explore things that I otherwise wouldn't have so it's genuinely a two-way street like it's not just that you benefit because you've got this video that now like answers a need you have I benefit because I got to explore something that otherwise I wouldn't have and I think it's so beautiful to realize like it's a symbiotic relationship like I said these 15k subscribers it's not an accomplishment that I have it's a reflection of together that you and I and all of us have decided that we want to keep creating in this way we want to do it together and it's worth all of our time and all of our energy and all of our support and all of our love we want to keep growing it and growing it and growing it which is beautiful and then my last comment about content is actually going live here on YouTube I've only gone live I think I've gone live less than like 10 times here on YouTube and every time I still get a little bit like scared and anxious but ultimately I find it so energizing I think the most is like 30 people have shown up and actually like been with me live and I fully know that once I start doing it regularly that's gonna grow and grow and grow and it's gonna be this really beautiful thing and I found very consistently that like it's always like super super funny, super chill. We learn a lot, we laugh together. Often like people then join me on Patreon. Like, there's like a direct financial benefit because I have like a really great time talking to people on YouTube. When I say, we're gonna keep it going on the Patreon if you wanna join, people are like, yeah. It's nice because it feels as if I'm genuinely providing something for people, even if it's just a voice to hear in the background while they're cleaning their house. And so if you haven't gone live yet, give it a try. And it, it is scary and truly it might be zero people <laughs> watching because I've also done lives where it's been zero people. And guess what? I'ma still talk like there's a hundred of us. I'ma still talk like I'm making a video that's gonna get a thousand plus views because I recognize that that is the energy to have. You have the energy now when you have zero, when you have one comment that you would have if you had a million comments and you had a million views. Back when I had one, seven, ten comments a video, you best believe I was treating every single comment like that person was my best friend. <laughs> like I appreciated them so much because I did and I still do. And one thing I'll also do, you as a creator commenting on other creators videos I especially like to go laterally especially because I know what it's like when you're a small youtuber and you, you hope someone leaves a comment on it I know how great it is that someone actually watches engages and engages in a meaningful way not just like a cool video kind of way you know and then just another practical tip about comments when you create your YouTube video be your own first comment because I think there's like subconscious pressure around if you watch a video and there are no comments like you being the only one what I'll do is I'll literally take the description and I will just copy and paste that as my first comment pin that comment give my own comment a thumbs up you best believe I also thumbs up and heart every single comment if I haven't done that to one of your comments you're either saying something that's like I really don't really 
heart I don't love and so I just can't quite engage in that way and then my last point is all around consistency if you're a creator on YouTube you have probably heard of course you got to be consistent with your videos it's not unlike a friend right like we have some friends that we talk to once a year we have friends we talk to once every few months we have friends that we talk to every single day and you get used to expecting to engage with a person at a certain cadence right and if you want people who are really engaged you let them know hey you can expect me to show up for you and for our relationship in this certain amount of time so whether it's every week a few times a week every couple weeks whatever but you can expect that I will be there for you it's a subtle thing especially you know here on the internet when there's so many different ways people engage and so many different platforms and this and that I do think it communicates subconsciously like hey I am someone you can count on and as a result you should invest in me and invest in my channel and invest in what we're building and creating together because I am gonna be here for you sometimes we don't have it in us sometimes I'll post videos that's just just like hey y'all I just want to come on here and let y'all know that I'm going through it <laughs> and I do not have a video for y'all and I really need to rest and I love y'all and I care about y'all but I don't have any more content besides that but if I can't do that I will put a post on the community channel and I'll be like hey just a heads up that I'm not gonna be available this week I just finished healing a bunch of trauma in North Carolina hanging out with Thomas Hubel I noticed that when I look at some channels where the creator has just left and like given no kind of response even if they have like an Instagram or a podcast that they're still engaged in so often some of the comments are like we just want to make sure you're okay like are you good girl <laughs> like because people care about you I've had so many people say like I genuinely feel like you are a friend of mine like I feel like I really do know you <laughs> and I care about you even though it's just me sitting in a random room <laughs> talking to the camera you know these real relationships are being created and so consistency in that way letting people know hey I can't show up and here's why it goes a long way all right y'all that's everything I've got let me know are there things that you do that have supported your community whether it's on YouTube or somewhere else I feel like I used to call y'all sexy a bunch <laughs> mean to objectify y'all so I've been chilling on calling y'all real sexy but y'all are real sexy you know because you have great taste <laughs> in youtubers and y'all really are just so beautiful and genuine and kind and open-hearted and vulnerable and the way y'all show up in my comment section it inspires me and it inspires other people I've had people in my life tell me your comment section should be like I just sit there and I read it and I'm just so blessed that I get to create with you all that I get to co-create with you all and that we're gonna hopefully keep co-creating a bunch of dope stuff I love y'all thank you all so much I could I could talk forever about how great y'all are and how much I appreciate y'all. Join me on the Patreon. Comment below and say hi. <laughs> y'all are the best. Okay, bye!